Hello, my Bastard Hound friends and my sexy lemon pie cuties. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Market Punk, here. Again with more DC Anthology Paranormal. When the last left off, I was trying to fight the drug dealers. That was in the Sushi Haven restaurant. Apparently, I got some hints from the developer itself, so I had to wait in my own apartment until 8 p.m. to do it. And, uh,. To actually, also, to progress the story, I have to talk to Suzanne in the Mexican restaurant as well. So, hopefully two things we can do in this video. Otherwise, I'll do the next part. Who knows? But for right now, I want to do this part. So, I'm going to cut until 8 p.m. again. So, that's what's going to happen here. Huh, <sighs> a lot of editing, guys. Anyway, I made it to 8 p.m. at my, um, place. So, hopefully... I can make my way over to the Sushi Haven. So here we go. Sushi Haven. Here we go. Hopefully I can fight him this time. Ah, here we go. Now I'm ready for some battle. Yeah. Nice. Ah, really? I'm just getting lucky. That's nice. Kick his ass. Nice. Again with the left tip. I've already used that joke so many times. Ah, oh, crap. Wow, okay. Cool. Oh, now they're getting smarter. Wow. Got him. Let's get him with these. Yeah. Cool. Ah, my next opponent. This is gonna be an endurance, huh? I'm getting lucky with those hits. Crap, as long as I don't die. Mm, two misses. Okay. Maybe this? Oh, shit. It's not good for me. Got him. Got him twice. Damn, man. Okay. Oh, if I lose here, I have to, like, do something with my life. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Oh, I got lucky in one. Holy crap. So, there we go. Yes. Awesome. So, just celebrate. Oh, I can't go for a job. Anyway, cool. So, the next thing is a Mexican restaurant, which is somewhere here. Mexican restaurant. Yeah, right here. So, that's the next place I'm going to go. I completed that one. So I have to go back to the guy since I completed the mission and all that stuff. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to cut and recover and for you guys in the meantime. And then I'll go to the person that I completed the mission. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back again and we're talking to Charles. So this is going to be fun. Man. That was such a chaotic situation. I'm glad you get out of the place in one piece. It's too bad we couldn't be able to seize any drugs. Sometimes things don't turn out to be what we, we've expected. Despite that, we've managed to find an important discovery. We've finally been able to discover the real identity of the person who runs the Black Tiger. A drug dealer was recently defected. The man, Cecil Wilson, oh, that's interesting, Cecil Wilson, known the identity of the Vitruvius Eagle. The mysterious leader behind the Black Tiger, however, he's only willing to reveal it if we help to protect him. The Vitruvius Eagle. That's a strange name. 
He's a cunning man. There were lots of bloody gang fights that took place last year before he was able to seize the control from Hong Mi. Anyway, an assassin has been dispatched to get rid of Cecil. That kind of reminds me of Cecil items from Saw 2. Anyway. An assassin. Are they real? I thought they were just fictional stuff made up by movie makers or action novel writers. Oh, they exist. How do you explain the assassination of John Kennedy? Okay. Or the death of Prince Diana? Oh, you want to bring that subject. Uh, that's crazy. Do you know the word assassin comes from the Arabic language, which means hired killer? Protect the drug dealer. Why would I want to protect the drug dealer is beyond me. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to protect the drug dealer? This is crazy. Yes, Miss Bitch Tits. You have shown us that we can depend on you on this tricky situation. Cecil Wilson's life depends on you. Make sure the assassin doesn't get to Cecil or else we don't know the identity before the virtuous eagle. Charles gives me a note. Here's the location of the of his hidden place. He moves from place to place, but he recently settles to stay at a condominium. Oh, interesting, cool. I don't know if I can pull this through. Mr. Charles, protecting people is one thing, but to go against an assassin? That's going to be a really tricky stuff to handle. I might get killed. Unless I heal up first. Don't worry, Patrick will provide any help for you. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, we got that mission, so that's cool. So I'm out of here. So I'm at after midnight to go to the Mexican place, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Reset. Here we go. That's what I'm going to do. All right, here she is again. <laughs> Suzanne. Did you find Neil? Did he have the tape? Yes, I found Neil. I've got the tape, but he seems to lose his memories. Lost his memories. Oh, really? We'll deal, <clears throat> we'll deal with him later. Give me the tape. I gave the tape to her. She plays the tape. Shadow Reaver? Mind Potion? Mind Control? This is crazier than I thought. What should we do now? I met Norman. I also have the mind potion. You what? Huh? You're more resourceful than I thought. I'm impressed. Here's $500 to cover for your effort. Let me think. The killer seems to wait for something or someone. Could he be waiting for you? Oh, that's creepy. Did he use your father as a bait? As a bait to force you to come to him. What? What did he want from me? <laughs> of course, why didn't I think of that? His target is y is you. You're the one who he wants. You have a psychic ability. He'll use you as a sacrifice for his ritual. Creepy. No, no, no. That's the most logical explanation that I can think of. I think that, I think it's some sort of a revenge, perhaps. 20 years ago, your father used Maria as a bait. And now the killer used your father as a bait. How ironic. No time for jokes. You need to find his hiding place. Then we'll figure out the strategy to defeat him. Okay. The killer's hiding place. I want to know about it. 
How do I find his hiding place, Maria? Has told me there was a dungeon somewhere in the city. Yes, there are catacombs beneath the city. Twenty years ago, I've researched a dark cult called the Dark Raven. I've learned about this before. They had a base in the catacombs beneath the city. I believe the killer must be there, waiting for you. Oh, that's creepy. How did I find the catacombs? Why don't you use your post cognizance ability to find it? I've been doing a research on the city's old records. There are three probably entry points to the catacombs. <laughs> the apartment's basement at the old district street. One of the townhouses basement at the journey street and the city hall's basement. Try to be in these areas. Find out if you can get a vision or something. Return it to me if you have something. Sounds good for me. Oh, I forgot to read the other text, sorry. Find me here after midnight if you have some update and blah blah blah. No, now if you'll excuse me, I have to get going. Oh, man. So, I'm going to leave this here. And I'm going to try and heal up, too. <laughs> In the next battle or something. So, uh... Oh, yeah. And uh, protect the junk dealer he wants me to do as well. Why would I want to? But I have to anyway, because it's a side mission. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of my next video. And comment and like about this. And most importantly, share this video so I get more views and more subscribers. And I will see you best sound friends and my sexy little pie cuties on my next video. Seizure? Later.